So, hello and welcome back, and this time I will just want to give you a quick introduction to make files, because um, last time we had to manually call um, the assembler and also our linker, and for that I thought it would be a good idea to introduce make files now. So, for that we just um, create a make file in the same directory as our source file. And then for, we can define variables like, for example, sampler would be NASM in our case, and then linker would be the linker LD. And um, this is that we can reuse these uh, variables later in our make file. And um, I will just write an example. Mm, let's call this Hello World Elf. So um, in a make file, this on the left is always the target that we want to have after words and on the right is the thing that we want to um, that we depend on for this to build this on the left and then below that needs to be indented with a tab Um, is the commands that we want to execute. So this is not only useful for actually making or building a program, but this is also uh, useful for any other kind of automation. If we don't have this one on the left, then it looks in the list of targets, which is below, like this. We can just define another target. And if we don't have the dependency here, right on the right, and we'll look uh, if we have another target to build this, and it will go here, and this one will depend on hello world .o. And to make hello world elf from hello world o, we will use our linker. And we will take the hello world O and hello world elf. And then if we don't have the hello world O, we also need to create it. So we specify another target. Hello world O. And this one depends on hello world asm, which is the source file. And to get from the right here to this, we need to assemble it. So let's do that. Format is this one again, and my output file is the hello world o and of course we need to specify an input file which is the hello world asm like this and this would already work but we also want to have another target which is clean and that basically just means to remove Hello world. Oh, also we want to remove hello world elf, and what we also want to have maybe is a, mm. no, we don't want to have that. Yeah, that should be good. And now all we have to do is to write make, and as we can see, our program was built. And now we can 
execute hello world elf and get hello world and we can also specify a specific target after the make so as we can see it got cleaned we can yeah cake is not a command of course so as we can see we specify yeah. I think you get the gist of it. Well, I hope this was clear. I think I lost track a little bit, but I think it's pretty intuitive to use. And yeah, hopefully you got some use out of it. And yeah, see you next time.